And moving right along here, um, the next one we have is um, single trim extend. This trim extend always forms a corner. It really is a fillet. It always actually forms a corner. This one will trim or extend, um, and and but it doesn't actually form a filleted corner. But it only uses single elements at a time. Uh, this one is similar to it again. We'll do it the next one where you can do multiple trim extends. So these two are close. This one always forms a corner. So watch how this one works. Uh, let's clean up this boneyard here a little bit. Uh, do a big crossing box and delete that stuff. Uh, let's pick this wall and say create similar. So we'll draw some walls and we'll crisscross them. And we'll have some pointing towards them. They don't have to be square. Okay. And yeah, that looks good. So we've got some walls. So what happens here is we say, okay, trim extend. Trim or extends one element to a boundary defined by another element. So it's kind of a onesie. Watch. You click on here. So what you do is you pick on here and then you pick. That's it. Now you pick a new edge to go to. Pick on here, pick. Okay, pick on here, pick, pick on here, pick, okay, here, click, here, click, here, click, see how that works, here, click, here, click. Now what happens if I go here, click, oh, it goes down, but doesn't do it, it still tries to do it, okay, now, while I'm still doing that we have another one which is those are all extending I purposely picked ones that needed to extend Th that very same tool without even leaving it now I can pick this and go here and it trims it so if you pick an edge and then pick a line it'll trim it and retain the side you pick watch pick an edge pick a wall okay Pick this edge, pick the bottom half. Okay. Pick this edge, pick this half. Okay, that's all with the same one. Escape, escape. Grab all these, do that one again. Okay, ready? Uh, is that a wall? There we go. Wall, create similar. So if the walls are already intersecting, it behaves one way. If they're not intersecting, it behaves a different way. Okay, watch. This is going to be the wall I'm going to work with. I'm going to go here and say trim extend. Here's the edge. Click here and it extends it. Okay. And now I have to pick a new edge. Okay, I can't do multiple objects. That's what this one's for. So I pick this edge and I pick this side. Pick this edge this side, this edge, this side. You have to re-pick your edge and re-pick your side every time. It's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. This always forms a corner and then this one you pick one edge and then you pick multiple objects. So that's the big brother to this one. Okay. This one trims or extends. Doesn't matter. I can go back again and use this and pick here. Pick this guy pick here, pick this guy. If they don't touch, then they get extended. If they already cross, they get trimmed. So this will trim or extend depending on the conditions of the objects. Okay, That also works again with our sketch lines. I keep going back to this floor. Click on here, edit the boundary. Okay, If you have line work inside of here, for whatever reason, escape in between there. Okay, I can go in and I can use my trim and extend, but I can trim on here. Pick this guy here, this guy here, something like that. You know, this would be kind of doing it the long way. Oh, I went too far. I went meant to go the other way. Here, here, okay, here, 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 here 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 escape escape I'm not saying that's the fastest way of doing it but that's using the trim command finish off you go so sketch lines you can use your trim commands as well as 
with walls and you can also do it in a 3d view I keep using a 2d view here but if you wanted to you could go over to here and do the same thing I could grab this wall pull that through okay and I can say trim pick this edge and pick this wall so you can do it as well in a 3d view